there's a there's a rip in the matrix right now this is a it happened just after Halloween uh, when I say those terms and use terms like I, in my book sorcery like I pointed out when I, they're just the terms de jour the terms that I actually use to help explain concepts like magic sorcery and so on and in, in you know everyday language and you can call it whatever you want but basically when these things happen, this, this you know, everyone knows that we're living in a, a holographic universe. This has always been known that reality is uh, completely subjective, but not entirely subjective because the subatomic fabric of the universe the, is so densely packed. It's unbelievably dense that it's very difficult for our current minds and nervous systems, especially especially our nervous systems. To hack the matrix, as they say. Yeah, this is what magic really does. This is what magic it creates a, an intermediate force that uses these unknown forces within the subatomic field, call them dark matter, energy, whatever you want, and it presses upon them and causes a, a, a shunting effect on the other end. That's how magic really works, changing reality. Sometimes, for reasons cosmological, shifts in human consciousness, things we may never fully understand. The fabric of the of the underlying matrix, it loosens up. And that seems to be happening right now. I've noticed very strange behavior in the last few days, and so have you. Now, the first thing I've noticed is that I have an incredibly heightened sense of awareness. On Friday morning, I was building a circuit. Uh, and it's it's for a, an electronics project to do with magic and uh, I picked up a small LED that's on the circuit board and as I was pulling two prongs apart to put it into the PCB board to solder it it lit up my my, my, my life energy my chi my prana lit the not not bright but like a little flickering light came on that happened uh, I, Everything, electronic things I've come near, I've had to stop that for a bit of the braking. I broke an electric heater and I'm fucking up my hard drive. I'm blowing light bulbs just by being around them and this kind of thing. So I'm in a very heightened state. I've also been sleeping like a coma. When I go to sleep, I sleep like I'm in a coma. And uh, I have dreams that are incredibly vivid, including flashback dreams that are so intensely lucid. Like I had one at that, that I I lived two previous lives in in Turkey. I don't know if this is true or not, or if it's allegory or anything, but this is what the dreams told me. And one, I actually lived in ancient, ancient Turkey at the time of Gobateki and uh, Gobleketeki, and I also lived in Victorian Turkey, where I was going to the, was I was involved somehow in the museum, showing people the artifacts from ancient times, from the the ancient world. Makes sense when you kind of think about it, but that's what I had the very. I mean, when I say vivid, I mean like this uh, sensations and everything. Uh, people will. Re this is a people around you will reveal their true nature at this time. They will pay, make condescending, patronizing, or snide, hurtful remarks, and then later on try to say things like, "I'm only joking." Or they will say, out of the blue, they will say things, you know, I really loved you, and I loved your mother, and your your family were wonderful. Out of the blue, they'll come out with this, and then, and that's that's the other side. When we have this, this, this happens, devils, angels, demons, and gods are released, and you will find them all around you in different in different guises. You'll get the good, and you get the bad. It's a very very good time for magic. This is the time, this is the time for creativity. This is the time for working magic. It's also the time for knowing gnosis regarding magical awareness. Like a friend of mine in England realized that they had been possibly hexed by, a, by an occultist using sympathetic magic. Uh, and that, that manifested, and they got rid of the, they got rid of the, the hex. 
uh, at the, you know yesterday and this is this is you'll know these things they will this is the time you will see ufos this is the sign time sorry guys they're not space aliens this is the time you will see fairies this is the time you will see angels this is the time you'll see demons this is the time when you will have remarkable paranormal experiences the uh, depending on your level of gnosis and your level of awareness but lots of people have high, heightened states of awareness and, and, and a powerful sense of gnosis you don't really know it you know they couldn't even have, have an interest in it and then they'll be walking down the street one day and light bulbs will be blowing out when they're walking down beside them they just they just their their their, their psychic energy is is incredibly strong and they're able to at this time see it's not that you're producing more prana or chi it's not like that at all. You still, you always have the same amount. The the, inhibi the inhibitory aspects of reality of the the matrix are getting out of the way, so it travels further. You understand? It's not like you see. This is the whole thing. Uh, magic doesn't and sorcery. It doesn't give you powers. What it does is it releases confinement. It releases containment, and it opens it up to allow things to escape or to things to expand very important you understand that so this is why all these these lunatics who do things like curse politicians that never personally harmed them it always comes back to them because they're trying to they're firing they're trying they believe they're firing a force out that they're firing a force out the, 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 what they should if they wanted to do something they need to release the inhibitors around it in order to allow expansion and dissipation you know how the best way to do that is voting Sorry. Uh, yes, and uh, so it opens up. It opens. It opens up and allows your force to fill a larger area. So if your psychic energy had a, a, a you know, a, a, a pint of uh, chi or prana emission, at this time you're getting a gallon's worth. Okay. Not an extra's coming in, it's just softening up around you. It's softening up. You're able, it's less viscous. Reality is less viscous. And this is important. Remember that. This is what gives me pretty good magic powers. It's not because I'm Mr. Doctor Strange who can go, not like that. I'm not Harry Potter goes, right? What I do is I wait for moments like this for the fabric of the Matrix to soften up. And I let myself flow into it. And this is where it's good. But it's also that it becomes like a radar. And you discover who's toxic around you. Who's beautiful around you. People you might have thought were gruff or had no real personality. Would suddenly reveal themselves right now to be your hero. Or to be your champion. And they go, you know, see, it's, this is why New Ages are hopeless. They go around going... I love you. Unconditional love. I love, right? And they meet someone like me who goes, uh, that's you. and they go, he's a bad man. He's a bad man. Yeah, but if, uh, then they look for some fucker who uh, goes on about uh, the god. I, I, I love, I support the goddess. And, uh, I've got a yurt back here. And, uh, they, that, all, all that kind of shit. And they think, oh, he's so spiritual. He's so spiritual. Until he's like, uh, you know, he's injecting them with DMT and rape, you know, anally raping them while stealing their wallet. Uh, but they still never learn. They go, for, they go for another. This is they follow the next one like a dog in heat. But they they would find that a time like this, if someone was coming to attack them, uh, the, the their new age hero would go, and I'd go over and punch the fucker who did it. And that's this is when. The reveal happens. Same thing. Uh, you're with somebody who never really bothered you before. And they might turn around and say, you're a fat cunt. You're a smelly cunt. Uh, I'm only joking. Get them out of your life. Get them out of your life. Because what they've done is they're using the subatomic fabric of the matrix as well as their cognition in order to restrain how they really feel. So you will get passive aggressiveness like you won't fucking believe. Get them out. Anyone who knows me knows that I have, I'm a very tolerant person. I'm a very forgiving person. I do. I am a very forgiving person. But one thing, one thing that bothers me completely, and it's a no, no compromise situation, is nasty passive aggressiveness. I, no quarter. They go, you go. 
it's not my job to reform those people. Nine, time, nine, nine times out of ten, they can't be reformed. They're monsters inside who are restraining their wickedness behind a facade of a wonderful person. It's a very, you know, it's, when it's, like, it's, it's almost like, you know, in, in wine there is truth. It's, it's almost like the energetic version of that. It's, it's the, I've been followed by birds everywhere. And now today, birds don't want to have anything to do with me. Uh, oh, I also had a, a I also had a very strange experience on the darker side. I think Beelzebub manifested in my backyard. Uh, it's it's freezing cold now. There should be no flies, and a swarm of flies uh, appeared in the backyard over my head, out of nowhere. I mean, when I say a swarm of flies, I mean a swarm of flies.